Jim Seymour is one of those guys who looks at old machinery through rose-colored glasses. That's not a rusty, worn-out, self-propelled swather sitting in those trees. That's a good frame on a running motor. I bet a guy could even make it into a forklift. And that's exactly what Jim did. He stripped the header mechanism off an IH swather and shortened the rear frame to give it a 5 foot 6 inch wheelbase. He added a second rear caster wheel for stability. Then he rigged the front end with a heavy duty mast from a junk forklift. The lift operates on a 4 inch cylinder powered by a 25 gallon per minute pump from an old truck. The fork mechanism includes 27 inch prongs made from 1 and 3 8 inch tubing. The rig can lift big square bales up to 15 feet. And with a 9-foot turning radius, it maneuvers in and out of his hay shed like a charm. Seymour used the machine to handle more than 400 bales last year and said it worked great. But there's more. You can see that the uh, forklift has four times. These are very easily removed and restored to position in any uh, way you'd like. And we're just going to show you how easy that is right now. They're different. They're different uh, conditions, too. I find the shorter ones work better than the longer ones. There we go. Same mechanism on the other end. And a reasonable one-man job. Water-cold exhaust system to reduce the likelihood of any sparks when we're using it in the barn and we're just going to show you uh, where we fill that and how that works. The machine's also adaptable as a stone picker. We're just going to show you how easy it is to put that on. A fork comes off, a slotted basket goes on, and the machine becomes a handy rock picker. With a couple of pins, it's secure. For about $3,000, Jim Seymour has a real handy piece of equipment. <laughs>